This is how you get industry standard vocals like the following. Keep it low, key. Rapping no lack and I'm capping the captain and taking it over. I'm always on sober. I'm built like a soldier. There's weight on my shoulders. It feels like a boulder. I'm keeping composure. This gun in my holster. I got a flamethrower. I'm spitting the smolder. I got a bulldozer. We close the disclosure. I am the composer. They need a makeover. I'm making them cold. The top of my game. So first things first, you just want to make sure that you have the right recording settings. So when you record, you do it into the playlist as an audio clip. Unless you want to do it directly into Edison it's up to you and make sure your audio settings are set properly I have it set to FL Studio ACO and I just have to make sure that my microphone is the one that's being input into it if you turn down the buffer length, there's going to be less of a delay between when you record the vocal and when it's put into the playlist. So there is going to be a slight delay, but when you have a low buffer length, then it's going to put a lot of strain on the CPU and it might cause unwanted artifacts that you don't really want. And here's where you're able to choose which device you want to input. After you have all the recording settings down, this is the red button that you click on the playlist up here as well. If they're both not in sync, and then there should be a mixer insert that you could click this button on and that will allow you to record in and make sure that you select mono right here so in one mono because if you do stereo then it's possible that you'll only hear the audio in one ear and then it's going to ruin your entire input signal now let's get to the fun part the effects so once you have your input settings ready you want to click on the initial recording that you have right click on the audio clip go to edit and pitch corrector then up here at the scissors you want to go to scale choose the scale of your song for this one it's a minor then go to snap to scale and this is going to align the vocal notes to the scale then you could turn up the center and the center will bring it closer to that perfect pitch and the variation you could turn it down to give it more of a flat line which will kind of take away from the frequency dynamics of your vocal or you could turn it up and it'll sound like way too wobbly almost like you're nervous the transition is how quickly it transfers from each note so if you have it turned all the way up and it's going to be a smooth transition. And if you have it turned all the way down, then those transitions are going to be immediate. And just playing around with these three settings will help you get a deeper understanding. Then after you do all that, you want to come up here to this drag selection area and pull it back into your playlist. And typically I normalize it and set the declicking mode to smooth so it's easier to get rid of noises without it making any click noises and then track it to an insert that you want so for this track specifically i didn't do anything too crazy with it i just added a simple eq cutting out everything below around 115 hertz but this curve kind of goes down to about 30 hertz so i really want that bass to be punching through this vocal had a lot of low end in it if you're singing high then it would be wiser to cut out up to 300 maybe to 500 but anything above that you're probably taking away too much of the quality of the mid-range in the vocal and i put a slight boost on the highs and then the very highs and this is really just up to how you want your vocal to sound specifically but as a general rule, you want to cut out the very lows at least and put a slight boost on the highs. Then I added a de -esser. If you don't have Soothe 2, then you could use Maximus and then they have a de -esser preset. Not going to get into it too much, but Soothe 2 has vocal de-harshing and de -esser plugins. And this is basically like a dynamic EQ targeting specific resonant frequencies that don't really sound good. Then I have Antares Auto-Tune here. And the only reason I have the retune speed set to zero and the humanized to 100 is because I already did some of the pitch correcting. And when you layer vocals, the auto-tune doesn't capture as much of those effects and that's what I did up here I layered multiple vocals not too many but just a few to give it more character typically I set the input type to low male and then again the key in the scale a minor then I have my first compression so I have fruity limiter here just set a simple threshold knee ratio I have a tutorial that I dropped recently explaining how to use fruity limiter and each of the functions for each of the parameters then I took route 20 I unrouted it from the master and then routed it to another insert 21 I added another compressor. I put a tad bit of sound goodizer on it because it gives a little bit more of that lower range vibe to it. Another Soothe 2, this is the de -esser. The one before was a de-harsher. So the de-harsher just gets rid of regular resonant frequencies and the de -esser gets rid of those sibilant frequencies. And last but not least, directly on the vocal chain, I have fresh air and this just introduces a little bit more of the higher range without making it too sharp and that's why you'd need a de -esser. but fresh air kind of has that built into the algorithm so then after that i have this 21 routed to two more tracks but i left it routed to the master i have a limiter at the start so that it gives room for my vocal so if my vocal is playing then the delay won't be playing as loudly and when my vocal isn't playing then the delay will swell up and it just sounds less cluttered when you do it that way 
And then a good tip on delay, if you want to add a slight bit of reverb, this is going to give it a more lush feeling. And then I have 21 routed to 23 and I have Valhalla Supermassive and I chose one of the presets I liked. Made sure that the delay was set properly to the tempo of this track, which is 60 BPM. So 500 milliseconds matches good with 60 beats per minute and another suit 2 plugin. And then using this EQ down here just to give room for the vocal too. I really only wanted the reverb mainly in the mid range because if it's too bright, then it's going to over impede on the vocal. And then after that, just making sure you have a really good master chain built is going to help you out a lot too. So I have a video explaining this as well. I'm going to make another one soon so that you guys can have a deeper understanding and always make sure that you have your main vocal routed in mono. But what I did here was I routed it to another track, had that one route to the master, put a chorus effect on it, put it slightly in stereo and put a compressor on it and then kind of adjusted the equalization just so that the phase issues because if you have two of the same exact frequencies overlapping each other it's going to cause phase interference and you don't want that so you can fix that by stereo separating it and putting some type of chorus modulation on it and that should help out quite a bit. I had it very low too just because I wanted the width of it in the background but I wanted the center of it in your face. And putting the delay and reverb in stereo is also good because it sounds like then the mono part is initiating. It's like the origin and then it swells out and you can hear the effect kind of move away from the center. If you found something useful in this video, make sure you drop a like and follow for more.